We're not. Okay, on Sundays and Wednesdays, I do the uh, Pickleball Canada format. So we're going to get started. Oh! We're going to be doing uh, drops today. Uh, we'll start with a little bit of a warm-up, and then we're going to play a few minutes of the game, and then I'm going to get into the lesson, okay? That's what we're going to do today. So this is, well, we're pretty warm because we just had an hour of training, but we'll go through the motions. This is a dinking warm up. You guys understand that, right? Dinking warm up. Okay. You wanna, well, Angela hasn't done it yet. I didn't know what we were doing. Do I do thought we were just passing the ball back. Okay, we'll just do a dinking warm up. You want? Can we do two balls? No. Sure. No, we don't need to do a full structured warm up. I just thought we'd dink a little bit and then move back. Oh! All right, I'll warm up with Tim. Oops, sorry, Tim. Oh, jeez. Oh, try and keep it under the, uh, under the paracord. Oops. I'm going to try and keep it under the par- Ah! Under the paracord, Tim. We're doing middle, right? All right, we're doing side. Let's do nice sides. Someone put a damn rope there. Right? Messing us up. Uh oh, that time I went over the net. I mean, over the paracord. Did your house suck? Yes? Conditional? All right, good. Okay, you guys ready to play? Yeah. Let's play. Okay. Did you Let's see me uh, mess, mess up uh, gay there? Yeah. We'll start oh, at 662. No, six, you. <laughs> you can serve gay. We'll start at 662. Gay can serve. Are we are we looking to do anything in particular? Are we no, dropping? No, we're just doing, we're playing a warm-up game. The idea is that I see you play. Oh, good start. I need more of a warm-up. What the hell, Tim? Did you do that? As part of this game, I'd like to see some third shot drops, if I may, please. Whoa. Nasty Nelly. And do you know what you hit? Uh oh. Right there. <laughs> Just minding my own business like this. <laughs> Screw you, gay. Take the. Oh, point. your serve, Angela. Your serve. We started at 662. How come Gay doesn't get a point for that? Oh, I guess she does. I'm sorry. She, she does. does. It's a bitch boss point. Well, you Especially did it now. not on someone's injury. Uh oh. Was there a drop there? I tried it. I tried to do a fifth shot drop. I forgot about the third. All right. Drop. There nice go, drop. Tim. Nice Thank drop, you. Tim. Oh, nice shot, on Angela. Nice oh. drop. Did I serve that? <laughs> yes. One, two? No. Nope. Seven, eight, one. Seven eight one. Nice. Oh, come on! Okay, okay. We'll just replay that was so we'll replay the point. Oh, sorry, Tim. We'll just replay the point. Replay? Why are we replaying? 
Uh oh. Okay, that, that was, was a shitty drop, though. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty lousy court movement on my part, too. But Are we 8-8? Eight, eight? What are you, Sharon? It's exactly what Sharon does. You guys had a big hole. 9 8. Nice drop. Nice. Oh. God damn, die! Die! <laughs> Drop. Nice drop. Oh, come on. Oh! You made Tim bark like a dog. <laughs> nice. Oh! Fair court caught it. Try it again. Fair court caught it. What? Oh, we're in great serving on that. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, what the hell? We just sat here. All right, wake up. Good drop. Nice drop. Oh, look at that. The nasty girl. It's paracord. What's the score, Gay? Hit. Oh. I was going to call it out, but it caught the line. 10 10. Get out of here. 10 10. We're going to play to 11. Nice drop. Oh. That's an excellent one to one drop. Well done. Okay, guys. <laughs> Why don't we get one more chance? Why don't we play to 12? What the hell? You want to win? We'll play till 20. How about we play Stupid. just until you win? Stupid rules. <laughs> yes. It's a good way to do it. You're scared that we'll get the last point, aren't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Yeah, Terrifying. I know. All right. So. Clearly, we can all see that we need to get our drops down, right? So several of our drops were over the net. So we're going to work today on keeping our drops down. Now, there is, a, there is a time when you want your drops to be high, and you would want them to come over the paracord. That's when you're deep out of position, and you need to play a recovering shot that gives you time to get up, um, or get, at least get back into the game, or back into the point. Um, in those cases, you might choose to play a very high, very short drop um, just to take the pressure off, give your team a chance to recover defensively. Uh, but typically, we want our drops to be below the paracord, landing somewhere, if not in the kitchen, at least near the kitchen. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Um, uh, when we do that, obviously, we force our opponents to hit up on the ball. And if we can force our opponents to hit up on the ball, good things happen. Right? Because if the they hit up on the ball, you. If, if, if they hit up on the ball, there's a very good chance that we're going to get to hit down. down on the ball. Exactly. All right. Tim so will bark get, like a dog. <laughs> yes. Okay. She Tim will. and Gay against the wall over there. Uncle and I are going to demonstrate. Uh, sure so let me demonstrate. First of all, let me demonstrate the uh, the setup. Okay. So if I'm at the baseline, I want to be open, right? Both both uh, feet facing the net, hips facing the net. I want the paddle to be laid back out in front of me, uh, forehand or backhand. I want the wrist laid back, and I want the um, I want a minimal backswing. I'm not going to say little or no backswing because people often hear that and think well, they only hear the no. So what I would rather have is minimal backswing. Minimal means 
only as much as is necessary, right? Right? So we want to have some backswing, but minimal, no more than is necessary. So under the net, okay? What so, do you want me to do? Just return them to me, just okay. like that. So hips open, wrist laid back, minimal backswing, under the paracord, just like that. Right? If I'm doing it on the forehand side, same concept. Hips are open, wrist is laid back, minimal backswing. That went over the that went over the net. Over the paracord. Sorry, I'm trying it again. That one went under. Oh, that one went over. Okay, I honestly can do this. There we go. Okay, so that's the fundamental, right? Hips open, wrist laid back, minimal backswing. Okay, what we're going to be doing is. Oh, I forgot. To, I forgot part of it. Sometimes we have to step into the court. Not every ball is going to come to us right at the baseline, so sometimes we'll have to step into the court. In that case, everything stays the same except for the stance. We're going to turn sideways. So if you can feed me a short one. All right, so that hit the paracord. So no, I need to be able to step into the court. I need to step when into the speak, court. When you speak, I can't always hear you. So you asked me to put it at the white line? Yep, white line would be awesome. Good job. All right, so I turn sideways. So I'm going to turn sideways. Still going to take it out front with my wrist laid back with minimal backswing. All right. Okay, so I'm going to turn sideways. Take it out front. So you. Everybody see that? All right. So if we're deep, hips open. If we have to step into the court, we want to turn sideways. Forehand or backhand, we want to turn sideways. All cases, wrist laid back, forehand, backhand, minimal backswing. Does minimal mean no backswing? No, it doesn't. Right? So there's going to be there's going to be some backswing, but the least that we the least that we need to get it to where we want to go. If a ball's coming at you with a lot of pace, you're going to be able to deflect that pace with sometimes possibly almost no backswing. But if it's a softer ball, you may need to take a little more backswing. Okay. I have a question. Yep. Do you guys both know what backswing is? Because some people don't know what backswing is. Oh, that's a good question. Do you know what a backswing is? Do you know what backswing is? Where is the backswing? Nope. nope. So there's a difference between backhand and backswing. Hang on. Let, let Tim say what he thinks it is. <laughs> yeah. So if you're kind of when you when the when when you're preparing your swing, your racket moves back first before it moves forward. Right. That part of your stroke where you move it back first oh, okay, yeah. is the backswing. So before contact is backswing. Yeah. Um, even backhand. even on the backhand, you're actually moving your paddle. So if, if I'm a back, if I'm hitting a backhand this way, right, the backswing part of my Paddle is actually a forehand this way, isn't it? Right? Because I'm still moving my paddle back into position to start my swing. Right? And then the depth of your swing is either moderate. So on a serve, you've got a moderate backswing, which takes it back to here. Right? And uh, on a forehand drive, if we're hitting it a long way, we're going to have a longer backswing. So in this case, our backswing might only be a few inches from this is where we want to contact it. So as the ball is coming towards us, our backswing comes in, it might just be a little bit prior to our push. So I think backhand, tennis players know backhand, but you guys don't come from tennis, do you? And nor do I. You mean backswing. Backswing, sorry. And also it comes from golf, right? People have a backswing and golf, yeah. right? But I don't golf and you guys don't either. Yeah. So while preparing for the last course, I went, Oh, that's backswing. And Brent said, what the hell? You don't know what backswing is? I'm like, I, I just never thought of it, right? I never thought of it before. And then so I've been asking people to see how abnormal I am. And I pegged you both for no, not tennis players and not golfers. So I knew that you would do me well. All right, Angela and I are going to start feeding here at the net. Get you guys back at the baseline. Oh, we've got to demonstrate the drill. i got to demonstrate the drill. This is what we're going to be doing. So you're just going to be feeding me, Angela, and I'm going to be hitting you drop shots. We're going to do this continuous. Where would you like to feed? 
anywhere, just, yeah. yeah. Let's do it continuous. Continuous? Yeah, continuous. Yeah. Uh-oh, that one I probably should turn sideways on. Anyway, that's what we're doing, continuous feeds for a uh, uh, person at the net, person at the baseline, drop shots, nice, easy ground stroke, back, try and do it continuously. We want to keep it between the paracord and the net, ideally. Um, that, that's our target. Obviously, we're not going to hit our target every time. Any questions about what we're doing? What's a paracord? This is a paracord. Why is it called a paracord? I don't know. I didn't name it. I just bought it. It's okay. called paracord. It's a camping para equipment. Okay. Yeah. Something, something to argue about. Exactly. All right. Who's my partner? Uh, you and I are going to be feeding to start. You guys are going to be at the baseline. Tim, you, you and Gay can go to the baseline. Yeah. So you can feed Gay to start. I will feed Tim to start. Doesn't matter. Nice. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Yeah. Now, there's another issue here. Um, you're a lot smaller and you have a lot less body weight than Tim, for example. So you might need to take a larger backswing than Tim, right? Because Tim can shift his weight into the ball a little easier than you can. Don't tell Gay that. So it's something to keep in mind. But there's still going to be a minimal for you. It might be different than Tim's minimal. But you need to figure out where that minimal is. Um, a minimal backswing, if you get it to whatever your minimal is, is going to give you, is going to give you more control over the stroke. Right? Okay. May I ask a question? Yeah. Is it also the same for someone like Gay's stance? If she's, if she's open to the net way back there, she has less power, right, than if she stands like this, no? Yes, yeah, and that's, that's a fair point. So Pickleball Canada wants us to teach open from the baseline, sideways inside the court. But depending on body weight, um, you might, or even, even comfort, you might be more comfortable with a sideways stroke. So I'm absolutely fine with you turning to the side. Some people prefer to receive closed on one side, or sorry, neutral on one side, open on the other side. That's fine too. The, the, the correct fundamentals are open at the baseline, sideways inside the baseline. But if you're making good drops, that becomes irrelevant outside of a course in a game, right? Just try and hit, generally speaking, you're gonna have more success Hitting open from the baseline. Do you want a little more pace, Gay? Do you want more pace? Oh. Do you want me to feed with Sorry, more Tim. pace? Sorry, okay. Tim. This paracord has its advantages. It also has its disadvantages. Okay. So you may want to step up to feed. Very close. Watch balls in your feet. No, don't swat them that way, Gay. Swat them that way. That's okay. Let it go. Let it go. It's, it's going to be fine. Oh, shit. Good job, Tim. It was a good one. Nice one. Watch that ball. There we go. Let's try again. Nice, Tim. Really? Oh, nice try. Nice. So close. All right, so are you receiving those sideways or open? You're kind of in between the two, nice. right? Nice. Want to pick? Want to pick Beautiful. one? Beautiful. So if Whoa, you're going to hit them right. open, hit them open. Shitty if you're going to hit them sideways, hit them sideways. Commit to one or the other. Those last two are excellent. There you go. Oops, sorry. That's a terrible feed. So close. Cool. 
Oh! Good oh! Good it's damn cord. Let's What's switch. You, you and I are going to switch now. Paracord. Paracord. Damn it's, paracord. It's now officially called a damn cord. Damn paracord. Nice, Jim. Beautiful. So we're trying to keep them under the cord there. Try and keep them between the cord and the net if you can, okay? Shitty feet. That one's over. A little high, Tim. <laughs> little high. Oh, that one hit the cord. That was perfect. Really good. This cord is yeah. really, really difficult to work with here. Woo. Sorry, guy. There we go. Oh, nice. I thought that was going over. I went over the top. Nice, guy. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Let's still pick up. Still pick up. Got way too many balls flying around here. You kill yourself with this paracord. I almost strangled myself. Okay, why don't you and Tim, or why doesn't everybody rotate once around me? Okay. So, okay, you're going to come over here. You're going to be a feeder for a few minutes. All right, so what are we working on specifically? Our setup. We're trying to return balls open from the baseline with our wrist laid back, minimal backswing. Okay? If we have to step into the court this way or this way, we're turning sideways, wrist is still laid back, right? Still minimal backswing, and we're trying to keep everything, regardless of which stance we receive the ball in, between the paracord and the net. The paracord's uh, a little difficult for us feeders, but I think if we step in a little closer, it'll it'll help with the feeds. Oops. Nice, Tim. That was perfect. Oh, almost. Watch out. Nice, Tim. Great shot. Woo! Look at that. Everything I'm hitting is touching the paracord. <laughs> nice, Angela. Really nice shot. There you go, Tim. Oh, I thought that was going to be perfect, Tim. That was nice. Excellent. Yeah, you got it. Oops, sorry. Watch your feet, Angela. I'm in the court, right? If I'm in the court, I can do this, right? Inside the court, you can turn. You can do. You can turn sideways outside too, if the ball's in the right. Did you just say watch my feet? Yeah, because there was a ball in your. Oh, feet. I thought you meant my setup. I thought you meant my setup. Sorry. No worries. Sorry, Tim. That was a great drop, Tim. A little high. Good. You're, you're trying to hit everything from an open stance. I like that. Nice try. No! Beautiful. Nice, Tim. Beautiful shot. Okay, let's do a pick up. Let's rotate. So this paracord is really distracting. So I'm going to just really focus on giving most of my feedback to the person who's right in front of me, because I'm trying to watch the paracord and the lesson at the same time. And is this come in different colors, Brent? Uh, it does. Yep. Yeah. You felt like the orange was best. 
I bought the orange because it seemed like the best choice in the store. This is an experiment. I've never used a paracord Absolutely. like this before, so. I hear you. I understand. Yeah. I don't think the other colors were a better choice, but it might I was have been. just thinking white. There was no white. No? No, there was no. I'll find you a paracord that's white. Okay. <laughs> All right. Angela, that was beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Right. Oops. Beautiful. Don't make gay angry. Why are you throwing your rock, rocket, gay? What did Tim do to you? So if there's balls in your feet, just push them off over to the curtain here. Get them out of the way. Watch it, guys! Watch it, guys! <laughs> Safety first, Brent. Yep. Oh, nice. Angela. Nice. That stayed low. Yeah, stayed low. Nice. No, that was too high. So, nice. Good one, Gay. My one concern is the amount of energy that you're driving forward with. I'd like to see it just to be a little bit softer. So right now you're, for some reason, you're sliding everything forward. So you're pushing off your back foot. Can I tell you why I think I'm doing that why? and I'm more successful yeah, sure. today? I'm not hitting the, the, the cord as much. I need a little bit more of a, a yeah, plow I'm, push. Yeah, I'm not saying don't move forward. I'm just saying control your energy a little bit, right? Because this is supposed to be a drop shot, right? So you can still move forward without actually moving your feet. So watch me, right? So I, I'm still moving forward. I'm still transferring my weight from my back foot to my front foot without actually doing a slide step. Yeah, that was that. That was beautiful. Okay. Nice, Angela. Nice, Angela. Good shot. That's Is that better. correct? That was great. I was shaking my head because your ball hit the paracord. Yeah. Nice. Oh, good job. So, let's rotate one more. I want one more chance to work with Gay. Let's rotate one more. I'm gonna, you're going to rotate this one, Angela, please. Rotate once more so I can talk to Gay a little bit. All right, guys, so what am I looking for? Show me the stance at the, if you're receiving a ball deep at the baseline, what's your stance? Yeah, Tim, do that. Yeah. Do what he said. Yeah. And if you have to step into the court, what's your stance? Uh, no, that, is that sideways? Is that sideways? There you go, ah. that's sideways. Show us some tush. Yeah. Exactly. There we go. Okay. What, so, what, what is what she was doing before? What is this? She was she was hitting open from the baseline, and then she was hitting open with one foot forward from inside the court. Oh, that's still considered open. Yeah, because okay. her, her hips are still open. 
What I really want to see, Gay, is I want to see you get sideways. Okay? So that was nice. that was open. That was open. Sorry, Tim. That was too long. Okay. Now I'm going to give you some short ones. I'm going to give you some short ones that force you to step into the court. Okay? Did you hear me? Perfect. I want you to take them sideways. Exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. Whoops. Nice. Yeah. Good stuff. Perfect. Good job, Gay. That was under the the. This damn cord, hey. This, this damn Sorry, cord. Sorry, Tim. It's such a good idea until you actually have to use it in a lesson. Awesome. Now see if you can give me some uh, between the paracord and the net. Woo! Ah! So let's try and get some between the paracord and the net now, okay? Same right. thing, I'm gonna feed you about the white too far, right? I'm gonna feed you about the white line. Beautiful. That was one. That is how I feed, I guess. Nice, that was beautiful, Gay. Oh, good. Okay, let's do a pickup, guys. Let's do a pickup. Please. Then we're going to have a drink and we're going to move on to our second drill. So go grab a drink. Don't have a meeting. Just grab a drink. And then come on back in for the second drill. I got the balls, Angela. I don't need a drink. I got the balls. Okay. Okay, go have a drink. So this paracord seems like a really good idea until you have to teach with it, eh? Well, I know, and it's frazzling you, isn't it? I think it's the color. I j I'm just hitting it, so I just have to adjust to that. No, no, but it's there. one more thing in front of you, yeah. and I think that it's, I can see, you, like when you were with me, you weren't present with me, because this thing was driving you crazy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's okay. It's always a hiccup the first time you use new gear. And for some reason, I think it's easier for you, just because you're the coach, it's easier for you to see cross-court than here. When you were when you were with me uh, feeding, it felt like this was more difficult than to look over at Gay. So you were looking over at Gay more. So it must be because this is further away or something. Could be. I don't know. Could be. Um, I was I was a little distracted by what Gay was doing with her footwork. That was part of it. Oh, so it wasn't the cord. I don't think it was the oh, cord. Okay. I was, I was okay. watching her footwork. Okay. Um, but it's it's difficult when I'm when I'm addressing when I'm working with somebody here. You can say superficial stuff like "good shot" or "keep it down" or something simple like that. You can't really do a correction from here to that person when you're working with this person. Of course um, not. Because first of all, in here they can't hear you this distance apart. No. Right. So you have to ever stop everybody and have them approach the net. So that's anyway. why it was so unfair to expect a newbie to do it. Yeah, it, yes. this is a difficult, th I'm, I've been doing this for decades. It's I know. a difficult thing to do in an echoey room like this. Expecting Peter to do it, no chance. Or Angela. Or, oh yeah, or Angela. That's <laughs> true. We, at the course, we had to coach as we were playing. So there were three people on our team plus us, and we had to coach as we were one of the four, which was like, Messed up, right? I mean, we're just learning to coach, but now you want us to coach from the yeah. from the from the court is ridiculous. And play and play well, right. yeah. and play well. Yeah. That that is an intermediate thing. It shouldn't has no place in a in a uh, level two it's coaching advanced. course. Advanced. Yep. All right. Okay. So um, we're going to change the drill just a little bit. I don't want to complicate things because it's really difficult to hear in here. 
So I want to keep the drill as simple as possible. So we're going to do exactly what we were doing. We're just going to do it diagonally now. Okay? I think you're here. Diagonally. Right? Oh, sorry. So, no, I you just, can stay there. I just did that so Tim could be with you. That's sorry. Okay. Diagonally. Diagonally. Yep. So I'm going to work with Tim diagonally this way. Gay and yeah. uh, Angela are going to work diagonally this yeah. way. Once again, I'm going to work primarily with the person that I'm that I'm drilling with, just because it's difficult to hear in here with all the echoing. Um, I may I'll keep an eye on you when you're in other positions, and then when you come around to me, I'll bring up whatever it is that I saw, rather than trying to shout at you in the echoing room. I think room. Tim needs more of your attention. Gay and I are perfect. <laughs> I know that. I'm aware of that. Yeah. yeah. And you're better. And you're both better looking than Tim. So. Right. Just. Just, I, 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 I'm just, I'm just saying. Tim. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. I want yeah. you to back up all the way to the baseline, please. Okay. So Tim, you're going to be doing drops diagonally to me here. Okay. So here, this is an interesting question now. So you're receiving a ball from the baseline, and you're you're um, projecting that ball diagonally. Do you stay open to the baseline and the net? Or do you stay open to the ball? Depends if you're being tested or not. If you're being tested, get your ass back here. If you're not being tested, open to the ball. Yeah. So I want you to be open to the ball, right? So if the ball's coming at you diagonally, open to the ball means that your hips are facing the ball, right? So if the ball's coming at you, there you go. There you got it, Tim, right? Um, it doesn't make any sense if I'm hitting a ball for you diagonally for you to be open to the net, right? Not to me, anyway. I might get corrected on that by Pickleball Canada, but... All right, let's try that. Oh, sorry. And you can, you can still step in, Tim, but you're going to be sideways or sideways, okay? Nice. Tip that in the kitchen. Okay. And being open, Tim, doesn't mean you have to be stationary. Okay, you are allowed to move. Gay, will you stand in the middle of the court for me? Nice. In the middle of your box. Jesus. Because I'm trying to hit you and I'm hitting the wall. Every time I try to feed you, Tim, it's hitting the paracord. Nice, Tim. Beautifully done. That one you got to step in for. So if you got to step in for them. Ah. Oh, gay okay, behind you. Okay, now I'm going to give you some shorter ones, Tim, that are going to make, I'll give you some long and some short. I'm going to try and make you step into the court and turn sideways a little bit, okay? All right, sorry. All right, Tim, show me what sideways is. If the ball's coming on this line, there you go, that's sideways, okay? What you're doing is you're staying open and you're just staying open with one foot forward. So try to get sideways. Okay, I'm going to give you a few more and then we're going to rotate. Okay? It's okay. So that time you stayed open with one foot forward. So try and actually get sideways, okay? One more try. I'm going to give you a really short one to make you step in. There you go. That time we got sideways. Oh! 
Oh, sideways, good stuff. Okay, let's rotate. Let's rotate. So, Gary, I'm going to be working primarily with you now. The balls are in your feet, just push them off over to the side with the curtain so they're out of our feet. Oh my god, are you okay? Try not to hang yourself. Okay, Gay, you're right there. Hey, Gay, how was your uh, head with the hit yesterday? Is you okay? Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right, if the ball's coming this way, where is open? Yeah? Okay. If the ball's coming this way, where is sideways? Okay. And what about the other side? Awesome. Good stuff. Okay. So I'm going to feed you some long ones, some short ones. Long ones, you're going to receive open. Short ones, you're going to step in. Beautiful. Okay. Good sideways turn there, Gay. Sorry. Good. You actually got closed that time. Is that what you is that minimal backswing? Nice, Tim. Okay. Nice, Tim. Those are really good. All right, what if I give you a really short one? There you go. Beautiful. Nice sideways. Sorry. That's good sideways. Nice. Oh, sorry, Tim. You got okay. it. So you've got it, but let's just try and keep some of them below the paracord and above the net and below the paracord. Are we starting at the middle of our box in all places? Yeah, like, so watch that ball, Tim. You want to go move to the middle of your box. Middle of your box. You're middle doing of your what box. they there call you cheating. There you go. I don't think you're a cheater. Right, that was a little over the paracord. Let's try and go under. Beautiful. Oh, sorry, Tim. That one went on there. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, I'll give you three more, then we're going to rotate. Okay, it's okay. All right, let's rotate one more position. Tim, did you see what you were doing back there and then you were just hanging on the line? You never do that. <laughs> but I think you're so concerned, right, that you're, you're taking them like this, yes. right, as if you're dinking or something. You can step in, right? Yeah. And I know you, I've seen you do it a million times. Yeah. So let's talk, about, let's talk about that issue. So open to the net does not mean stationary, right? Right? So you can step, you never step and still be open. You can step, step, and still be open. You can step, step, and still be open. In fact, you can even step, oops, I'm, uh, I, the ball shorter than I expected, step and be open, right? So you can be mobile and still open. The idea is to be open right as you're starting to make contact, right as you're starting your motion forward, okay? <clears throat> I think where I get the idea, and maybe Tim does too, is when we're, we're only open twice, right? We're open here, and we're open in a push. Those are the only two times, correct? You mean a drop. A drop, yeah, sorry, mm -hmm. a drop and a dink, mm -hmm. right? And if we're open to the net here, we don't want to go in the kitchen, yep. right? Yep. Right, so we're kind of doing it back there too. Yep. Yep. But that's just a brain fart. Yep. You never do that. That's all right. We don't have to get it perfect. This is practice, right? So we're trying to get better, not perfect. Yep. All right, so I'm going to, you can back up. All right, so I'm going to show me open. If the ball's coming from here to here, to that corner, where's open? There we go. Show me sideways. Show me other sideways. There we go. Good stuff. Right. That's what we're trying to do. Just receive, rack it back, laid back. 
minimal backswing. Drop shots, drop shots. What? Drop shots. Sorry, what? Sorry, it's hard to hear in here. Drop shots, not drives. Drop shots, okay? We're trying to hit drop shots. Just reminding you. No, I just I just want to be like, if I'm getting from way back there, I know they're drop, but I need some pace on them, right? Yep. Otherwise, they're going to hit the damn cord. Yes, you do need pace, but you still want it to be a push, not a hit. Okay. Okay. Right? Right? That was a beautiful push. That was a beautiful push. See, that's all you need from there. Oops, sorry, bad feed. Nice. That was a beautiful push. Look at that. No. Nice. That's what I'm doing. That right there. That's why I need more pace. Oh, that wasn't the pace. Way. That wasn't the pace issue. That was too low. If you had if that had been high enough, it would have cleared the net. It was high and then it started to drop before it hit, went over though, then, right? Then change your trajectory. Your pace was fine. It had more than enough pace to get over the net. Past the net. Okay. Yeah, beautiful. Ah, nice. Oh, okay. That's now, the angle. That's the angle of my paddle. That, that happens. I'm going to give you some that you're going to receive open now, some deeper ones, okay? Nice. Perfect. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, a little high. Let's try and get three between the net cord and the net. Wasn't that under? Try and get three between the net cord and the net. That's oh, that was gonna be one. That's one. Oh no. That was one. All right, good stuff. That was that was good. Let's do a quick pickup, then we're gonna we're gonna play a little game. Honestly, I'm not sure why we do open stands. They they seem like they lob more. The open ones lob more than the side. Okay. Okay, what? Yes? No, I understand. I'm, I'm accepting your opinion. I'm not arguing with you about it. I don't, I don't want you to argue. I'm just saying that they go higher, and if we're trying to go low... Okay, give me a second so I don't have to shout at you across the room. Okay. All right, so Angela's perception is that it's it's when you lob from an open or sorry when you drop from an open stance that they tend to lob more, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So Angela, I'm going to get you to come up here and feed. I'm going to return from the baseline. That was loud. <laughs> so feed me. I'm going to receive some from open stance. That's a lobby one, right? That's what you mean by lobby? That was not an open stance, was it? Oh, I guess that was closed, yeah. Right? That's what you mean by lobby? Okay. Now feed I, me. I mean, you have to, they go up higher. Yeah. I'll try to feed you properly. So that's part of the problem there, is a ball that bounces high is difficult to do a low shot on. But if it's if I'm under pressure, whoops. If I'm under pressure and I'm getting something with pace on it, it's gonna be easier to keep it a little bit lower, right? Oh. Right? So that Okay, I'm gonna say that's because you're you. But if you watch one of us. I bet when we lob with an open stance, it's going up here. Yeah. Ninety percent of the time, don't okay. you think? Okay. So what what controls the angle that the ball is leaving my racket? The angle of the paddle. The angle of the paddle, right? 
So if I'm doing it, let's do a few more feeds. This is a good question. Okay. It's just what I've noticed. So if, if I'm holding it continental, go ahead and feed me. Yeah, if I'm holding it continental, the ball's going to come up higher. But if I'm holding it eastern, yeah. see how much lower the ball stayed? I, I do eastern back there. Yep. And I don't. Right, so it's just it's easier. You, what I'm saying is, use your grip to control the height of the ball. Um, there's nothing inherent about the open stance. There's nothing inherent about the open stance that's going to require you to hit it lobbier, right? Unless, unless you're taking it way too far out front, or unless I'm taking it here. Because you know, in the strategic warm up, when we take open stance, we're here. Mm -hmm. Then we go here. Yeah. Then we go here. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'm taking the open stance here as opposed to here. Mm -hmm. But you can still keep it down just by dropping your paddle. You don't, though. You, you, you move your body and you take it here. Yeah. I know. I'm, I'm just trying to figure the damn open stance out back there because it seems super, doesn't it seem awkward? Yeah, and yeah. you don't either. And when you started, it, yeah, it's it's just. It, I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm saying it's awkward. Yeah, I, yeah. So this is open neutral. Yeah. Right. Now I'm not neutral anymore. Right. I'm I'm less open because now I'm partially over to full neutral. You see what I'm saying? You don't want fully open. Oh, sorry. My feet are neutral because they're side by side. That's what I mean by open neutral. Yeah. So this is fully open. Yeah. This is partially open. This is neutral. All right. Gay is way, right. way, way open. I'm not. I'm not saying, and don't please don't think that I'm saying that you have to hit shots from 100% open and 100% closed. This is how they want us to teach it. Yeah. A more open stance from the baseline. A more sideways stance from inside the baseline. Mm -hmm. um, but depending on the ball, that you, you'd have to talk to them. <clears throat> Sharon does it almost every time, right? And she, she, she'll, 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 she'll push from an open stance. It goes really, really high to the cross. Mm -hmm. She does it almost every third shot, doesn't she? And, and it goes high. Yep. It lands in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. But then it's, but it's a weak, up. it's a weak shot. Yeah, yeah. But she's been taught to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's, but I, uh, I feel like it's weak. It's weak, right? Like it comes right back to you. Yeah, Someone just plows it back. Let's move on. Uh, I want to do a little bit of a competition now. We Sorry, I didn't all the balls, mean to right? over question yeah, No worries. We have time. Um, we're going to go a little over time today, but we have two hours of court time. So we have that luxury, right? Okay, so we're going to have a little shootout competition now. Gay and I will start here. Competition? Um, oh, yeah. So we're going to start. You're going to have three balls, and Tim is going to have three balls. Oh, you mean I'm a, as opposed to Tim. Uh, sucks to be you, Tim. Okay, so Angela is going to feed one ball to me, and I'm going to try and hit a drop shot between the paracord and the net. Oh, so it, it touched the paracord and went under, so we'll call that an under. Okay? We'll call that one? It, that's an under. No, don't hit the ball. That's an under. Okay, now you're going to do the same for gay. Go. All right, so that's a miss. So I'm ahead one nothing. Okay? So let's try again. Oh, that's a miss for me. And did that go over or did that go under? That was over? Okay. So zero for you, zero for me. So it's, I'm still ahead, one nothing. Are we going one at a time or together? One at a time. Okay. Yep. Wait your freaking turn, Tim. All right, here we go. All right, so I'm ahead, two zero. Ah! Hey! Oh, no. right. So I won the shootout two to one. Okay. Now we're going to move forward, and you guys are going to back up. And you guys are going to do exactly the same thing. 
Okay. Oh, I was starting at zero? Yeah, you're starting at the baseline. Get that ball out of your feet. That's good. Perfect. Okay, so you can start, Gay. Feed Tim first. Oh! And one for Tim. Pressure's on Angela. Oh, ah! Tim's a head one, I think. Okay, Tim, go ahead. Oh! oh! Hang on, hang on, hang on. I cannot have one distraction. So I want have, this so badly. To have a hope of tying, you have to get this shot now. There it is! Okay. Oh, so that's out. So Tim's got two out of three. Angela's last chance. Oh! So Tim wins the I have done that all the time. Okay. So now Tim and I are going to have the A side competition, and Angela and Gay are going to have the B side competition. Okay. This net court is not my friend. Oh, nor is the net. Sorry, we're switching? Okay, so you and I, you're going to feed me. Three balls. Oh, yeah. We just fed, though. Well, actually, we'll start with the B side. You guys can back up. Okay. Are you two switching? If Brent and I just switched? No. 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 So you guys are the B side. You guys are on this side at the baseline, right? You two are competing because you you lost your first round and she lost her first round, right? Oh. So now you guys are the B side. You're you're competing for the B side championship. I understand what we're doing. You have a Tim. You're up here. No worries. Okay, everybody know what we're doing. Tim, you can go first. Oh, oh, nice job. Over. There's one for good. That was under, right? That was under. Awesome. Is that under? Awesome. Oh, here it is, Angela. Under. Angela wins the B-side championship. I'm sorry, Gay. Um, excuse me, Brent, I'm, I'm, I just want to ask you about time. We don't have until 11. We have until 10. I mean, we can stay to 11 if you want, but this class is over at 10. Oh, yeah, you're right. It goes so, from 8 to 10. I, oh, I don't mind staying. There's nobody behind us, so we'll, we'll stay a little bit longer today. Can you two stay longer? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay. It's much harder to hit a third shot draw. Oh, for sure. No question. You're 100% right about that. Okay, Angela and Gay, you're the feeders now. Tim and I are now competing for the world championship. <laughs> I don't know, Brent. How many do you want? Good One, luck, all three? buddy. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to beat you. Come on, Gay. Whereabouts would you like them? White line? You can give them to me anywhere. Really? Anywhere. anywhere. And you'll be and you'll be happy. All right. So Gay go first? Gay, Gay's gonna go first. Oh, I oh. Oh. Zero zero. No, that okay. was No, it went over. That went over? Okay. That went over the court. Okay. Oh, that went over. So did that. Perfect. One zero. Uh oh. What did he go to three? Yeah, three. I've already won, but there you are. Two. I'm the champion of the world. Take that, Tim. Good game. Good game. Good game. I'm the champion of the world. Good game. Good game. Good game. Good game. All right. Let's pick them up, and now we're going to play, we're going to close with a game. Uh, third shot drop. We're going we're gonna to play a regular game with third shot drops. And each time you hit a third shot drop between the paracord and the net, you're going to get a, a personal skill point. So we have personal and team? Uh, we're going to have the regular scoring for the team, just the regular game. Yeah. But within that game, we're going to be 
of scoring individual skill points for successful third shot drops. Yes. How do you want to mix it up? This will work. You okay? So we'll play this way and then we'll mix it up. Is that what we said? No, yeah, regular game. You got a ball there, okay? You can serve. I know you can be on this side. Regular game, but you're going to get skill points. Third shot drop is the only drop that we're going to be counting. Just the third shot. So if you're serving, or you or your partner is going to get a third, hopefully we'll get a third shot drop attempt. If you make that third shot drop between the paracord and the net, you're going to get a skill point. So only the serving side can get the bonus, right? Correct. Okay. It's not a bonus, it's a skill point. Pardon me? It's not a bonus, it's a skill point. Individual, individual skill point. point. Not for the team, for the individual. Individual. The serving team can only yep, get the exactly. Individual. Well, play again. Love this. If the ball contacts the paracord, we're just going to stop and reset. Oh, no bonus. All right. So you didn't. You had an opportunity to earn a skill point there, but you hit a drive instead of a drop. Okay, that's all right. And so we won the point, right? One zero, or zero zero two. It looks like you're not understanding something. Yours, but that was the fifth shot. So we're not counting fifth shot drops. It was a nice drop, but. It needs to be this is, that it, works. is it sometimes a little bit subjective if it's a third shot drop or a third shot drive? Well, a drop should land in or near the kitchen. A drive is going to land mid quarter deeper. But Tim's drive, I thought, landed close to the kitchen and through there. So I personally would have thought that that was a drop, but it no, wasn't. I, I think you took it out of the air, did you not? I took it out of the air. He didn't. Yeah, where did you take it out of the air? So I'm talking about Tim's. Yeah, no. This, he hit a drive towards you. You volleyed it. Oh. Right? Uh, Isn't that what happened? I, I probably took it right here. Yeah. So anyway. if you hadn't taken it there, where was it going to land on the ground? Near the kitchen. Here. No, 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 no. No, no. It was coming with pace at this height okay. when you volleyed it. So it was going to land back there somewhere. So past the foot of the kitchen is clearly a drive? Yeah. Well, if you can, if you can volley it, yeah, well, it's going to be a little bit subjective. <laughs> it is. It's going to be a little bit subjective. All right. Zero, zero. And no individual scores. And Got here it. comes our third shot drop. There we go. That was clearly a drop. That was clearly a drop. One. You got a skill point. I know that has one personal skill point. It was, it was a shitty drop, drop, though, but it was a good... Actually, we're going to call it one gold star. Angela has one gold star. Yeah. One zero. I'm a one. Fred has a gold star. Hey! Don't worry, you'll get your Two, gold zero, star. One. You'll get your gold star. But you can't right now because we're serving. Two zero. Three zero. Three zero. Let's try. I barely hear them though. I hit them though, hey? All right, so there were no gold stars awarded that time. So we're at 302. Mine. Try that. Gold star time. That's a gold star. Go. Oh. 4 0. Two stars. Yeah, my ball. I'm serving. Two stars for me.
Nein. Oh. Now you guys can get your stars. Zero four. Go start the storm. Okay, it's weird, right? It's weird because it came over and I went, good, oh shit, praying, right? All right. A little distracted in my brain. All right. Gold star. Oh, sorry. I don't know why I popped that up here. Everybody's got a gold star now. You get a gold star. You get a gold star. You no, get a gold no. star. Tim doesn't have one yet, do you, Tim? Yeah, he does. Oh, yours was the last one. I thought it was gay. Oh, I'm going to call that a drive. Yeah. But it was your point. <laughs> Felt like more of a hit than a push. See? Your brain stopped. But I let the ball go in, so you're, you, exactly. you're in the point. Exactly. You stopped it just like I did last time. All right, continuous play. There we go. That one I'll give a drop to. Out. Oh. I gotta stop doing that. Drop. There we go. Oh! Now that would have gone in, right? Go start, Tim. A lot of point was. loss, buddy. Nice. You got a gold star, though. Is that two? Is that two for you? One for you? Two for Angela? What about you? One. One? Yeah. I don't know the score. <laughs> four, four, one. Four, four. I'm a one. Mine. That's a gold star. Oh, it hit the net. But it hit the net and went under. So we're going to call it a gold uh, gold star, but we're going to replay the point. We're going to replay the point. So Angela serves again. All right. Yeah, Angela, no, Angela serves. I serve 4-4. Four, four. So we've got a free gold star. 4-4-1, four, four, reserve. Oh, here we go. I would think so. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was out? Oh, too bad. Sorry, Brent. I just about got a gold star. All right. Just about. Okay. You'll get it this time. Uh, four, four, two. Wow. Well, you didn't get a gold star, but you got a point. No. Five, four, two. Mine. That's your attempt. That was a dry. Oh. Yeah, well, that didn't go okay. so well. We're going to have to stop, guys. That was, that was awesome. Everybody got some gold stars. We're way past time, and we still have to put the nets and the paracord and the posts and all that stuff away. So, thank you very much. Any questions about what we did today? Yeah, good. We went a little long because there were a lot of questions, but that happens all right. some, sometimes. That's fine. At least, hopefully, you got some answers to the questions. I got answers. <laughs> See, are you guys clear? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say? Clear as mud. All right, let's get everything put away and go home.